Hi there. We will learn how to do data scraping from a web page and save it to an Excel file. For example, I have this web page where I searched what is the future of RPA and I saw so many results on Google and I would like to take all this hyperlinks and the name of the site. So how to do that using data scraping? Let's have a quick demo. So I have already created a sequence. I'm going to run that and I'm going to show you how you can quickly build a data scraping. Okay, so it's going to scrape the data from the background browser. Okay, it has done and it's going to save it to an Excel file. So you can see that the big things you need to know about the future of RPA, what is the future. So all of this has been pulled properly, all the hyperlinks along with the title. So how it was done, let's see that. Myself Rakesh from UiPath Expo Hub channel. In case you have not subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe and you can always follow the playlist and the videos that we upload on our channel every day. Thank you. So with that, let's get started. On um, data scraping, in case uh, in an interview, if they ask you what is data scraping, so you can simply say data scraping is an inbuilt feature that is available on UiPath Studio using which we can extract structured data. Now remember this word, we can extract structured data from a browser or an application or from a document. Okay, so how it works, let's see that. So the very first thing all you have to do is you open a blank page, right? Open a sequence or create a sequence, whatever. So once you are here, all you have to do is hit on data scraping. All right. So once you hit on the data scraping, it is going to ask you press next in the dialog box and hover the mouse cursor over the data source field. So what is our data source field? All you are doing, going to Google and typing what is the future of RPA and you have got this page. Okay, so this is my data source. So in this page, not necessary that you have to start from the beginning anywhere, anywhere. Let's say I want to do it from anywhere, but it's going to pull all the data for you. So what I'm going to do, you can see here you will hit next. Okay, that's all. Hit next and highlight this, this, doesn't matter or from the top, whichever you like, doesn't matter. So I'm going to select one of it. Okay, the moment you do this, it is going to ask you to create a pattern. You need to indicate a similar field. So you have to create a pattern. Okay, so what I'm going to do, hit on next and after that, any other thing, let's say this one below that I'm or this one, anything you can select. Okay, it, it just have to be a pattern. So I'm going to select this one. All right, so you can see the moment I did this, all of this got highlighted in the background. So you can see that all of the, all the links got highlighted. So that means all of these things will be extracted as a output. So now what I'm going to do, I'll go back to your path studio and here in this, I'm going to give a name. So I'll give a name as title. And here I'm saying extract URL also. Okay. And here I'm saying URL simple, very simple. So once we are done with this, we will hit on next. All right. So you can see this is how your output would be extracted. Now, the other thing you can also try this particular um, feature uh, or this particular data is available over a lot of pages. So you can see in Google, there are so many multiple pages. So you can go through multiple pages, but if you are doing that on Google, like in this example I am doing, I would say not to go for because there will be a lot many pages for you to extract, but you can try. Okay. Maximum number of results, you can set your results also. So here, if you click on finish, it's going to give you a prompt. Is this data spanning on multiple pages? That means is this data available on multiple pages? If you say yes, then you have to indicate for UI part to go to the next page, what it should do. So generally to go to the next page, you will click on two or you will hit on next, right? So it will prompt you which, which one to click. Okay. So in this example, I'm not doing because it's a Google search. There will be a lot many pages, which I don't want to extract. So I will say no to it, but you can always try with yes and see, okay, what's happening and you can stop it later. All right. So once this is done, remember here, the extract structured data activity has been automatically added. And on the right hand side, you have an output called extract data table variable got created automatically for you. And if you go to the variable panel, you will see extract data table with the scope data scraping. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the scope 
to the entire sequence so that I can utilize this data anywhere I need. So I'm going to change the scope to let's say, okay, it's data. Okay, so data scraping. So I'm making it to the larger sequence. Uh, I mean, I'm making it available throughout this data scraping. So now once this is done, all you need to do is open an Excel file. Let's say this is the Excel file where I want to save it. So I'm going to delete everything. And here the sheet name is sheet one. For that, and the sheet that uh, Excel file name is expo text Excel one. All I have to do, I will use a Excel application scope. Excel application scope. And I'll keep it inside. And here I'm going to select the specific file. That specific file is available in the documents. So I'll go to documents and I'm going to select that specific file. So Expo Hub Test Excel 1. This is the file. All right, done. So once you have pointed out to the selected file where it's going to write the data, the next activity that we are going to pick up is write range. Okay, so write range activity. So this is for the Excel. Go with the Excel one. And here I'm going to simply say the data variable, extract data table is the output variable, right? So I've written that or everything is done. All I have to do now is I have to simply run this. Okay, one more thing let me tell you. You will ask me, Rakesh, while I run this, do I have to quickly go back and keep this page open? Yes, you can do that. And you don't have to even do that. Reason being, I'll tell you what is the reason. So the reason is if you see the extract structured data, there is something called simulate click. So if it is true, that means the meaning of this is your entire thing can, I mean, your this activity can work in the background. It can extract the data even though your web page is not in the foreground. You have kept it in the background, still it's going to work if simulate is checked. Simulate click means it is going to use the API or the programming language of that browser and is going to automatically interact in the background. Okay, so for you to work in the background, you have to click on simulate click. All right, so that is the knowledge. So let's run it and try to see if we can extract the data. Before that, the sheet is completely blank. I'm going to save it and and let's try to run this and see if this can pull the data for us. So let me quickly run this. Okay. Let's see, just wait for a few minutes. You can see I've kept the browser in the background. Still, it's going to work. So let me go to the output and you can see it has completed the task. Let me open the Excel file and in the Excel file also it has got the required data. Please try that and let me know if you have any challenges. I hope you will be able to understand and explain how the data scraping work, works and you can experiment on different different browser, different applications, different uh, documents and try to see if it can extract the data. But remember one point, it only extract structured data. It should be in a similar pattern. Remember that. Thank you very much for watching this. In case you have not subscribe to the channel please do subscribe and do hit on the like button or on the videos that you're watching on our channel thank you guys have a great day